And welcome back again. I'm on the island, and I have a radio message again. They just keep pouring in right now. Um, so my plan was to go back with all of my items, deposit it all, and then come back here again. The problem is... I don't know where this island is. I no longer have a marker here. And I didn't bring any beacons with me. So that's a bit of a problem. I actually see my... You, you see that? You can actually see the life pod in the, in the distance. So how can I not see this island in the distance? I am so confused by that. Um, so what I think I'll do instead... Uh, I want to be smart about this. Maybe I'll build a small outpost here. Just a small outpost where I can store some stuff. It's like a, 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 a sort of a way station. You know? I think that's a good idea. Uh, hopefully I did bring some... Uh, I did bring titanium. Perfect. So let me store a bit of stuff here. Uh, like that. And put some lithium in there. Uh, this is not very optimal. Lithium, bop. Lithium, bop. Lithium, top. Okay, that should be enough. So, now... Let me equip my... To tell me I brought it. I did. Fa Oops. What did I do? Ah. Alright. I just want to make a little station here. You know? Maybe something like this. Can I even build on land? I can. Where should I build it? Somewhere flat. Ah, this seems good. But hold on. How do I get in if it's raised like that? Hold on, I have an idea. Huh? What if I... Did I bring any lead? Hmm, a single lead. I don't think that's enough. What I was thinking is, what if I make a small foundation and put it on top of that? I guess I could also just put it in the water. It's not really a big deal. Something like this. On the uh, a little a little way station on the shore, you know. So the problem is, how do I get in? <laughs> uh, I need quartz. Tell me, I brought that. Maybe it's kind of lucky that I did forget to empty my storage container. Thank goodness. How lucky am I? Let's throw this on there. Let's slap it on. Oh, hold on. Can I actually? What if I... I'm gonna come back for that. One sec. Let's say I make it here. Beautiful. So now I add the hatch. So I need more titanium. Let me deconstruct this. I feel so smart right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, hatch. Yes! Love it! I, I don't know why that never occurred to me. The, it seems like the developers actually thought about people wanting to build on land. That's amazing. Oh my god, it's a different type of hatch too, look. Emergency power only. Oh. Oxygen production offline. Right. I guess I do, uh... Cool. So I know that works. I'm just gonna grab this. I'm gonna put it somewhere else. It was just a test. Let me deposit some shit in my... Sea moth. Actually, I'll deposit all the things I think I won't need here at the island. Uh, I mean, we have three purple tablets. So maybe we can deposit two of those. Creature decoy? Hmm. Let me grab the titanium. Put the empty batteries in. The diamond. Grab more titanium. Lithium. Blah, blah. Maybe I don't need that, actually. And I think that's good. Let me put one more thing in. Okay. So where should I put it? I, I, maybe on the beach, you know? Just maybe right here so it's easy to access. Something like that. 
Well, maybe this was actually not a bad, not a bad place. I should think about maybe if I wanted to uh, expand it at some point. Give it some space. There we go. Beautiful. Hatch time. Look at that. I love it. I really love it. Let's, uh, can I actually make a copper and quartz? Oh, I think I have that, no? Hmm, I think I took all the quartz. I wanted to make a, a solar panel on top. Nuclear reactor. Uses nuclear rods, yeah. So what I want to do is create a locker inside. Ah, get in there. Ugh. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. One, two, three, four, five titanium. Hmm. Maybe I'll... No, I need the quartz for something, right? Make one there. I can, I can even make two, actually. that now I can fill it up with all the stuff nice now I can go explore hell yeah brother grab my knife so I can cut myself a bit of bulbo Sometimes a man just got a bulbo. Oh, that feels great. Give me more. It's infinite food. Like, this has to go bad, right? After some time. Otherwise, this is to completely OP. But then again, they do fill up four inventory slots, so not the most useful thing in the world. I wasn't finished scanning you. Oh, what the... F Bastard. These things are hard to scan. Okay, later. Let's go inside of this complex. My god, look at this fucking thing. Slotted right in there. Why am I walking so slow? Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Integrity. God, look at this. I am very... Apprehensive right now. But also very excited. What the fuck? I was not expecting this. Not at all, man. What the hell? What is that? What is that? Looks like a reflection from something that doesn't exist. Yo, what? Data terminal? Unknown language. Attempting translation. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. 
it is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment further research required. Shit. Right, I have all of these. I want to get them out of the way like that. Okay. So in other words, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Why can I not enable the 3D map? I want to see the structure of this place. Damn it. Lower section of this place, huh? Oh. Ion cube. Listen. The hell? That's the thing I need for the gate. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially. Oh, listen to the sound. It's like it's fracturing. Almost like... Uh, like ice. Cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. That's like one-fourth of the Hiroshima bomb, isn't it? That's insane. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely used as batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Assessment valuable energy source. Cool! I'll grab that, sure. Alien device that I know nothing about. Let me just take that with me. No problem. So there was something over here. My... Man, look at the... Why is my thing shining so much? Hmm. Ion cube, high capacity alien energy source. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Yeah, I was wondering about that actually. Very intricate, almost ornate. Where the fuck am I? What is this place? What is that? It's nothing. Okay. I'll keep walking. Another cube. Ooh, another thing I can download. I love the sounds it makes. That sounded like an alien screaming, but it was just this thing moving down. Oh, the music just sort of stops. What the hell's going on with the music? Unknown language attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. 
By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. You know, the uh, three-dimensional schematic thing here reminds me a little bit of, uh, of some of the stuff in Contact, if you've seen that movie. One of the best movies ever made. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam. Synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Holy shit. It's the amalgam! It's the amalgam, bitch! It's from Jarv. Amazing rapper. Power? The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Hmm. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where this schematic was found and the control room, which is accessed via a security-sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. What? Control? The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or install security measures. So now I'm wondering, control room... It seemed to me like the gun was firing automatically. You know, it detected something coming in through the atmosphere. It just shoots. Doesn't matter what it is. Goes down. But now I'm thinking, is there actually an alien down there in the control room controlling the thing? Hmm. When I read this thing about the power, I thought, why not use those ion cubes? Then again, the uh, octopus arms outside that I theorized were uh, power cables. Maybe that's what that is, actually. The power cables, you know? Bro, is the music bugged? I feel like I, I, the music starts and then it stops randomly. It's happened a couple times. Uh, let me remove these markers. They are annoying me. Seamoth, get out of the way. Staging outpost, get out of my sight. This one, I will also remove. Oh god, here we go. Oh Jesus! Oh my god! Woo! Okay. We're going down. All right. Holy shit, that scared me. It happened instantaneously. Moon pool? Uh... We're 100 meters down right now. I just want to see what's out here. Ooh, what is that? That looks like another gateway. Uh-oh. Oh, I really want to scan them. You know what? I will. I'm going to scan one of them. Let me do that. Where did it go? It teleported around. This is... This moon pool is way cooler than mine. I like their style. I wonder what they were parking in here since they built such a huge moon pool. Does that mean the aliens have access to... Crazy submarines? Excuse me, warper? 
I'm scanning you. Ah. I'm scanning you. I'm killing you. Oh shit. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Is it coming? Makes sense. They're called warpers. They're warping around. Okay, let's see what we got here. Wait, didn't I... Oh, I, I, I did scan it. Good. An aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself and others in space. Others? No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. Demonstrates no recognized defensive behavior. Wait, what? That seemed pretty defensive to me. Head? The music just stops again. Mechanisms located in the head region provide its warping capability, which it uses to stalk its targets. Torso. Appears to hunt other life forms, but no digestive organs have been identified. Internal structure considerably more complex than other known organisms. Unable to distinguish whether organic or artificial in nature. Further research required. Artificial in nature? I mean, maybe they are, but... That would suggest someone made them. Maybe the aliens here? Who built this place? It's odd, isn't it? Oh my god, look at this place. What the fuck is that? Alien rifle. Yo, what? Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. I want it bad. I wanted to see if I could grab it out of there with my gravity cannon thing. Like, what is the purpose of this room? It's built in such a weird way. We got another one of these. Yoink. Thank you. I am now the artifact. Display me. Oh my god. So let me let me do the bottom and then I'll go up. That is the plan. Uh, then again, I did read that uh, I was on the upper floor in one of the data downloads and that it went downwards from there. Please. Look at the lights turning on when I approach. Man, why does this, this music stop? It slaps and then it just stops. I want to hear the track. Ooh. That's another tablet, isn't it? Sure. I'll take it. Another question I have is... If these aliens... Built this place, where are they? Why are the aliens not walking these halls? Ooh. Something there. Is it a case of them having died out a long time ago and their structures and technology is still, it's just still here, operating automatically? That's my current theory. What the fuck is that? Alien device. 
How descriptive. A doomsday device? Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Ah, <sighs> my goodness. Why would you make that thing? Looks like a Pokeball. I actually never played any Pokemon games. Am I crazy? I t it, it was just never part of my childhood like everyone else's. For some reason, it just... I never tried it. For me, it was Battlefield 1942, man. Those were the days. Indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Scans indicate, huh? Question. What if I walk into it? Nothing. What if I do things? Okay, whatever. What if I... Okay. Ooh. Man, the echo of that, huh? Reverberating down the halls. Okay. Guess I'll insert my tablet. If you know what I mean. I feel like their defensive measures here are not that great. I mean... It's protected by a force field because they don't want people to enter, right? Presumably. And the way to open it is to insert a tablet. Which happens to be just downstairs on a pedestal. Like, what is, what is this? This is the most horrible security system ever. What are you doing? Especially when there's a doomsday device in here with the capability of potentially... Destroying the entire solar system. And you're just gonna let anyone walk in here? Huh? That looks like a power source thingy. Uh... Hold on, energy core, yeah. Interact with it? That seems a little... You know. This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead. Yeah. Or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. So it is automatic. It's just shooting anything that comes within... I don't know if I want to interact with the 100 megaton energy device. Am I crazy? Don't stick your hand in that! Uh, ah, ah, that hurt. Ah, oh, my arm. Ah, oh, you bastard. Ah, uh, I don't feel the good. Control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads: Warning: Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Oh. Hold on, before I read this. The planet is under quarantine? Hold on, I have a theory now. Check this out. And the music stops. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. 
Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Fuck. Yeah, that's right. I almost forgot about this part. I'm infected. And so many animals I've seen are also infected. You know, the green pustules they have all around their bodies. This planet is infected. Maybe that's why they're shooting everything that comes into contact. They're quarantining the entire planet! It's COVID Maximus! Man, they were ahead of their time, weren't they? Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. So now I'm thinking, is my goal in this game to find a cure? Maybe. Think about it. If the ins Okay. I mean, in the very beginning of the game, you crash land on this alien ocean planet, right? You're trying to survive. You're trying to find water, drinks, and food. Just trying to survive an alien hostile environment. Also, for some reason, my game just uh, minimized. But now I'm back. Hopefully it's still recording. Anyway, so we crash land on this planet, and I'm trying to survive. So my initial thought was that the ultimate goal of this game was to, well, so escape, right? To get rescued. Sunbeam failed. He got shot down by this cannon, presumably because, well, because the, qu the planet is under quarantine. Nobody's allowed in or out. Well, at least so far in. Maybe not even out, you know? Maybe anything that moves in the sky gets shut down. Whether you're leaving or entering. So, my theory right now is that... Okay, this is it. This is it. I have to find a cure, uh, become healthy, turn off this weapon, and then get rescued by a second uh, sunbeam, maybe. You know? I have to, because this is what the game is telling me, hey, if you're coming to land on this planet while this thing is active, well, good luck, you know? But if I can turn off this weapon, then the next person who's going to come rescue me is going to be okay. okay. This fucking music is annoying me, man. I want to listen to it. It sounds like a slapper. Was there anything else I needed to do? Right, I went up, but I could also keep going down. Tell me I have food on me. A little... Oh, my water. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. What just happened? Why did I die from that? Oh, no. Where did I come from? I'm dead. That... that I didn't understand that at all. Man, thank God that I built this base here. I feel like that just saved my ass. <laughs> okay. It's not the end of the world. HTO plus 10. Maybe it was too old. Come on, man. Eat it up. Okay. I have to go back in, of course. I think I could be a voice actor in games and just do the jumping sounds. I could go... You know? Imagine someone is actually doing those voices for these games. I always thought that was hilarious. You know, he's, he's in the booth. The guy's like, okay, uh, make a jumping sound. <laughs> There's like, what is that? What, what is that even? Like, you don't really make a sound when you jump, you know? Just go, hua. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, which way was it? Hua! This way. And then down here. Uh, 
um, bop, 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 bop. and then I have to get to the big room. Oh yeah, this elevator thingy. Fuck. Take me. Yeah. Man, it's such a weird effect. Dramatic and cool elevator though. I like it. Moon pool. So it was this way. I guess I could have just entered through the moon pool. I'm kind of a dumbass. I didn't think of that. So let me go this way. This is the way I haven't been. Here. I went up before. We've got another gate. Uh. Also, there's something I need to read in the journal. I haven't forgotten. Don't worry. Shouldn't there be like a thing? Where I can put in the ion cube, just like the other gate? What am I missing here? Huh? Hmm. Interesting. Let me note that down, actually. Uh, inside... Alien facility. There is a gate. The bottom. Maybe I'll have to because this seems very. Uh, there's something I, I've got to be able to do something with this, right? For sure, I'm gonna go outside now, and then I'm gonna turn on the other gate. Putting in that ion device that I found. Ion cube. I still have it, right? I do. I have three. Hmm. What? Let's do this. Maybe I'll activate my Seamoth again, just so I know where it is. There. There. Uh-oh. I don't want none of your shenanigans. Get away from me. Ah, what the fuck? It's teleporting to me. Go, 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 go. God, these arms are scary. Okay, 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 go. Seamoth time. Whew. Oh, and a nice little sunrise. Unless that's a sunset. No, that's a sunrise. Nice. Okay. I guess I'll go back up. But there was another way, right? Over here. Here we go. Look at this fucking cave. I know there's all this material here. I'm gonna leave it for now. I have a lot of it already. I don't want to fill my inventory with it completely. There's water here. Ooh, look at this. What's going on here? It's like a little cavey. Cave bush. that? Coral shit. Coral. Oh! <laughs> Fuck off. I didn't get anything. Stalagmites. Oh, 
Oh my god, look at this. Oh, what? It goes deeper. Yo. Look at the cave system. It's massive. I have to do it. Ooh. Spotted dock leaf. I'll read it later. Because I don't have the pause option on right now. Another purple tablet. Oh my god. I'm gonna run out of oxygen down here for sure. Yo, what is this place? According to this, the way to go down is over here. Oh, we go into a big one here. Oh, wait, unless this is the ocean. Ah, I see. Yet another way to enter. Really cool. Man, so many secrets hidden throughout this game. Secret entrances, caves, and alternate routes. Haha, <laughs> cool. Okay. Let me try and enter this uh, cave again from over here. I want to see if there's a way to uh, get to the gate from inside of this entrance. Maybe there's not. Maybe I have to go up the cliffside again. Wait, have I been here? Yeah, this is where I just was. I went down there, so instead of doing that, I'm going to go up. Unless there's no way to go up. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. So I guess I'll have to do it, uh, go up the cliffside. Yeah. Let's go. Maybe I'll just grab a bit of Bulbo here. Bulbo me. So it was this way. Hmm, I also wonder. I could walk across here. I have to do that afterwards. I want to see if there's anything uh, I can do here. Man, these things. They do, they do kind of look like ancient structures of it, don't they? Also, look at the, uh, what looks like kelp on these, maybe just leaves, but looks like something that was underwater and then came up. Unless it's just so old and ancient that I don't know, vegetation started growing on it. That could be an indicator of uh, it being very old and the aliens are no longer around. Also, let me quickly read. This one thing that I uh, had. This one. Alien facility locations. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. There's more. Deceased research facility. Depth 800 meters? Holy shit. How do I get down there? Cave system with extensive fossil record. Southwest of enforcement platform. Function live specimen study? Objective. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Kara. Is that what I'm infected with? With Kara? So the aliens were doing live specimen testing, trying to develop a cure. 
I guess they never succeeded. The planet is still in quarantine. And all the animals are infected. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are. Then there's a thermal power facility at the 1200 meters. Shit, this game goes deep. That's over a kilometer down. Inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Function generate energy for all local facilities. Sanctuary A, data corrupted, same as B. Offsite laboratory is also corrupted. Primary containment facility. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection of world. Hmm. So here I'm thinking, why not just broadcast a message saying, Guys, the planet is infected. You know, don't come here or we will shoot you down. It's a bit much to just immediately sterilize anything that comes close to the planet. Yeah, this thing is definitely leading to the gate, no? Wait, have I been in here? I went up last time, didn't I? Oh, this is the gate. Okay. Right. There's my marker. Okay. Let's fucking do it. Give it power. Oh! I knew it! Yo! Oh, listen! Oh, it sounds nasty! Did it go through? Aww. Okay, well, let's go. Save. Let's do this. I'm ready. Take me. Uh. Uh -huh. What? Oh, wait. Uh, uh hello? It was light, and now it's dark, and I'm somewhere else. Oh, shit, I'm far away. Oh, I can get back, thankfully. Where am I, though? Uh, what? Oh man, getting stuck in geometry. I see light. Also, I hear the ocean. No, wait a minute. Am I? I am. Mountain peak? Yeah. Yep. Fucking hell. I'm on the Torgal Island. How did they never discover that a gate was right beneath them? Well, I guess same way that I never discovered it. But then again, they've been here way longer. Scavenging for resources, building habitats, fucking planting things.
This is awesome. I have a way to travel quickly. What is this down here? Wait, I haven't been here, have I? Yo. This is where they planted things. Marble melons. Sure. I mean, I guess I'll need them anyway if I want to plant some for myself. Sure, I'll take a Chinese potato. Nice. Like, look, this is where they planted things. Right next to the cave. There's no way they missed that. No way in hell. I say that, and now I cannot even find the entrance to the cave. Where the hell did I come from? I can hear the gate. I walked like this, and then I came from here, I think. Yeah, look, it's like, it's right on the path. It, how come they never noticed this? Or well, maybe they did, and just never noticed it, or set it in one of the locks. Hold on. Weren't they talking about finding out what shot them down? Or at least Margaret was. Uh, let me see here. Deeper. Uh, Malady. Yeah, they they got sick, right? Alien bacteria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Risk taking. Nothing here. I'm trying to remember. There was one lock where I think Maida was talking about. Trying to get to the bottom of of why they were shot down and trying to disable whatever, maybe cannon that was shooting them down. Maybe they did, did realize there was a cannon that shot them down, you know? And they were trying to get to the bottom of how to do it, so they went deeper and deeper. Which is essentially what I will have to do in this game. Because those research facilities are super deep. One is at 800 meters and the other one is at 1200 meters. I have to follow in the footsteps of the Degasi people. Man, cool. I can just go back. Super dramatic teleporter effect. And here I am. Cool. Actually, this is a super nice way to transport material, I just thought. Uh. Yoink! Nice. Uh, can I just go from here? No, uh, that's too risky. Let me go down the proper way. Uh, this way, I think. Thank God for my markers. Wrong way. Uh, ah, here. There we go. I just want to scan these birds. I want to know about them. But they're so far away, it's like impossible. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. Yes. There we go! Sky Ray! Of course! The Sky Ray has a bird-like head and feathered wings which enable it to fly. Sky Rays are commonly found circling floating structures and rarely venture far out to sea. They will perch on dry land but are prone to flee on approach. Its wings. Although its wings give it some resemblance in silhouette to the waterborne rays on 4546b, analysis shows no greater genetic overlap with those species than the planetary average. In fact, the sky ray appears to have split off the evolutionary tree much earlier than most. Huh. 
Its diet, largely seed-based. Sky rays have not been observed diving for food, which implies they rely on land-based plants for their survival. Assessment. Presence may indicate nearby dry land. Cool. I, I really like the... Um, how different creatures indicate something else nearby. You know, like the ones that ambulate themselves across the ocean floor, the one that indicate presence of nearby cave systems. That's such a cool little thing. I also found this guy. A simple aquatic plant. Chemicals within the leaves act to neutralize poisons and acids found in other local specimens. Yo, let me extract a cure from this plant. Thereby actively encouraging predation by herbivores, albeit in small quantities. This ensures the plant both spreads its seed, but retains enough surface area on its leaves to survive itself. Cool. I love all the thought that went into... Uh, coming up with these plants. All the flora and all the fauna, you know? It's awesome. Man, what a place. What a place. I really wanted to go across there, but it's dark and I have 2% battery in my flashlight. So I will not be able to see shit. Let me recall all these. Nice. There's my sea moth. And it's off. Damn it. I think it's time for me to grab some materials from this base right here. Uh, where is it? Ah, oh, it's so dark. There it is. And then I'll head home with all those materials. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Ah, perfect. Look at that. Old marble. Oh, they're old. I should eat them. I don't think I can plant them. I need seeds for that, right? I need to plant seeds to plant things. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's so many underwater structures here. I have to come back to this place. How do I know where this place is, though? Uh, hold on. Life pod is that way. And my base, staging outpost, is that way. And which is south, southwest. What is that? That is like, uh, southwest is like 181. 270, that's like half of that. 20, so I need 45. Like 180 plus 45, 225 degrees, but reversed. North, northeast. I don't know why I'm overthinking this so much. Just north, northeast from the life pod or my staging outpost. You know what I want to do now? When I go back here, I want to see what happens to the island in the distance. If it's a rendering thing or there's some, some other underlying thing going on here. Okay, I'm quite close now. Let me just keep going a little bit more. Okay, let me check now. I st oh, hold on. Yeah, what? Wait, what? Huh? Yo, it's like, uh, almost mirage like. 
is it a cloaking mechanism? Are the aliens cloaking this island? It does contain alien structures, right? And so does the other island. That's why I couldn't see that either. I think the aliens are actively cloaking them. Ah. Good explanation. I am satisfied with that. Man, this is so such a cool look. When you see the bottom. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, stalkers are abound. Ow. So weird being back here at the starting area right next to the life pod. Oh, you know what? While I'm here. I just want to quickly uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, grab a bit of this. Is this not a coral too? Oh, this one is for sure. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to get a bunch. Why not? I'm going to bring them back to base anyway. Because I have salt back at home, and I want to make some water. Look at these peepers, man. Sorry! Sorry. Oh yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. This thing. I forgot about this. Vehicles. Oh my god, look at this fucking submarine. I want to make that so bad. I also want to make the prawn suit. I should take this with me. But now I picked up all the coral tube samples. Shit. Uh, I guess I'll... I think it requires... Only one? Oh, sorry. Get off, get off, get off. How do I take it with me? How much inventory space, man? Um, what can I drop? Creature decoy. <laughs> it's decoying right now. Still not enough inventory space. Fuck. Okay, new plan. Oh, it's actually decoying now. I can't bring it back with me. Shit. Let me take these. Oh, and an old battery that I dropped. Uh, cave sulfur, gas pod? No. I guess I'll put in something here that I don't need. Maybe some of this. Old battery. Better than leaving it on the ocean floor, you know? I don't know, man. I, I, uh, diamonds. I don't know what to use those for, man. No clue. This should be enough, right? There we go. Even have room for two more things. Diamond and one of... Just pre pre give me the diamond. What do I have in here? Ah, spores. All right, back to the base. Very nice. Let me just grab my uh, piece of paper here. I have a bunch of other things I want to do. I have, uh, go back to Poison Lake. I have to go back to the captain's quarters, but I need a room code for, for that. So I, I want to go back to the Aurora anyway, because there was a bunch of items that I just never picked up there that I want to pick up anyway. So I'm going to combine it with that whenever I eventually go back to open the captain's quarters. I, I don't know if I missed something on the Aurora. I feel like I did. 
You know, some kind of combination on the Aurora somewhere for that door. I also want to go back to the uh, Degasi base at 500 meters. The one with the, uh, the fucking octopus animals. Because I never really explored that area com completely. It's the same area as the Poison Lake. So yeah. Also, I also wrote here, grab a creature egg from the Shroom Cave. Not sure why I wrote that. I think it's one of the eggs inside of the Jelly Shrooms. I wanted to grab that uh, and bring it with me. It seemed significant. And the big one. I want to craft the prawn suit. I think that may actually be my next thing. Oh, the music is so good. I love it. Okay. In the next episode, I will try to craft the prawn suit. It's going to be glorious. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.